In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a text effect that looks like this, where the text fades in, is on screen for a bit, and then fades out near the end. There are actually two methods of doing this, depending on the preset you choose. I will cover both in this video. First, I'll start off by using a blending mode. This is something you can access on the Frame and Fit panel. First, I'll add a picture of myself into the main track, and then I'll tap on the plus sign and add an overlay title over top of that. Stretch out your main clip, if it's a photo, so that it's the same length as your overlay title. I'm using about 10 seconds. You can use whatever length of time you need. Keep watching because when we're done, you'll be able to save this as a preset and then use it in any future projects. Once you've got your overlay title in place, you'll notice that it's in the center of the screen. You can actually move the text by double tapping your title clip to open the clip editor, selecting frame and fit, and then moving the text wherever you want it. If you double tap on the clip, it'll move it back into the center of the screen. Next, tap on the title panel, open the properties for the text layer, and type the text that you want. Once you've done that, tap on done. Next, set the font and size for that text. I'm going to use Lemon Milk Bold. I like the way it looks. Then tap on Frame and Fit, and you can move the text into position wherever you want it. You'll have to keep in mind that when you save this as a preset, although we will be working in the blending area, the size and position values will be saved as part of the preset. If you make a mistake, just tap on the Undo button. Close the properties for size and position and open the properties for blending. You will notice an opacity slider. Put the blending mode set to normal and bring the opacity all the way down to zero. Tap on the keyframe marker to add a keyframe at the beginning of your clip. Then move ahead frame by frame to the one second mark. Use the playback controls at the bottom of the screen to do this. Tap the control until the value reads 1.0 or 1.01 seconds, and then bring the opacity back up to 100%. This will add a keyframe. Then tap on the playback control on the far right to move to the end of the clip, and this control to move backwards frame by frame. You'll want to move backwards to about the 9.00 second mark and tap on the plus sign to add another keyframe, then move to the very end of the clip and bring the opacity all the way down to zero once more. Notice that a fourth and final keyframe has automatically been added. Then move back to the main timeline and press the play icon to take a look at your effect. The text fades in, is on screen for about eight seconds, and then fades out like this. You can save this as a preset. Because it's in the frame and fit area, it's referred to as a motion preset. If I open the blending section once more, you can see the keyframes that were just added. If you tap on the star in the upper right hand corner, you'll notice that there is an area for user-defined presets. I have none, so I'll tap on the star here, and then I'll give my preset a descriptive name, fade in and fade out. Once you've got your name typed in, tap the star in the dialog box, and you'll see your preset appears in the user presets area. Now you can actually delete these clips. You can add a main title, into the main track. I want this title to be under 10 seconds in length so I can show you what happens. I'll tap on the scissors to make a cut and delete the part of the clip to the right. If you go back to the beginning of your clip, you'll notice that your text is in the center of the screen. Make sure frame and fit is selected. Tap the user presets and tap on the preset that you would have just created. 
notice that it looks like the text has disappeared. But if you go back to the main timeline, you'll see that the text is still there. The text fades in and fades out. This clip is shorter than the last clip. The effect still works, even though the clip is shorter. The one thing you may need to do is adjust the size and position of the text, go into frame and fit, open size and position, and double tap the dots under position X and position Y to move them over top of the white dashes. This will place your text in the center of the screen. Now the text appears in the center of the screen, but if you play it back, the fade in and fade out effects were not affected. The second way that you can achieve this effect is to use a color preset. All you need to do is tap the plus sign to add a main title once more. You can also do this with an overlay title. Notice that the text is in the center of the screen. Double tap the clip to open the clip editor. And you want to go back to frame and fit. For now, I'm going to leave the text as it is and just show you how to do the effect. For this one, you'll want to tap on color and effects. You can adjust the text here. The one thing I want to do is change the text so that you can see the font. Then I'll tap on color and effects. I'll tap the presets area here, the star in the upper right hand corner, and notice that there are no presets here. This is because this is in the color preset area. You will also have noticed that when I tapped on the title panel, there was no way to set keyframes for text. To do that here, you have to first apply the original color preset. To do this properly, you need to make sure that the background is one solid color. Once the original preset has been applied, tap where it says tint and change the color to black or whatever color the background you're using is. Once you set it to black, the text will disappear. Next, you'll need to tap on the screen to dismiss the color picker. You'll need to tap on the keyframe marker to add a keyframe to the beginning of the clip. Move to the one second mark frame by frame using the playback controls just like in the last example. When you get to 1.00 or 1.01 .01, to make it a full one second when it plays back, tap where it says tint color one more time and change it to white. This will make the text appear on screen. Then move to the end of the clip and back one second from the end. Use the playback control on the far right to move to the end of the clip and move one second back. Go frame by frame if you have to. Add a keyframe, then move to the very end of the clip and then tap the tint color one more time and change it back to black. Once again, it will look like the text has disappeared, but it's still there. You just can't see it because it matches the background. This is why the effect works. Play your clip from the main timeline. Notice the text fades in, is on screen for a bit, and then fades out again. It's nice and smooth. You can change what the text says and the color of the text anytime you want. To save the color effects preset, the one that we've just done, Go back to color and effects, tap on the star one more time, just above the original preset, give your preset a descriptive name, and then tap the star one more time to add the preset to the user presets area like this. Then you can delete the clips one more time and use the preset that was just created. Notice that you don't have to make an adjustment to the size and position in this case. Tap the plus sign to add title. Make a cut wherever you want. You don't have to make a cut. I'm just showing you that all you have to do is apply the preset. 
and depending on the length of your overlay title, it will fade the text in and out properly. That's why you should save your work as presets. Saving your work as presets also allows you to save space on your device as you do not have to render out a new video clip each time. Double tap the clip and select the preset. It looks like this. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time. Thank you.